From global weather forecasting to genetic modeling to the study of black holes, we must rely on a new class of exascale supercomputers to process massive amounts of data. Processors are getting bigger with more cores. Multiply all of that by a huge number of servers and you have a lot to worry about. The problem is scale, and that requires more power. More power generates more heat. Heat is a byproduct of everything inside a computer, and it's also the thing that can destroy it. In typical data centers, air conditioning systems keep temperatures at a human-friendly 75 degrees Fahrenheit. But with today's high-performance computing power, you might need temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. There's no way to maintain that without insane amounts of energy. If you can capture the heat in liquid, you can spend significantly lower amounts of energy on cooling the silicon. Intel has been a key partner in driving innovation in this space. Intel provides a lot of the insight into how the processor should run, and we designed a cooling system around it. Lenovo's Neptune brand of systems use liquid to cool components. The rear door heat exchanger absorbs heat into liquid like a car radiator. We also use a thermal transfer module, direct water cooling, and a liquid to air module. Exascale will bring breakthroughs in medical research, aeronautics, manufacturing of cars, and space exploration. All of which are cool, but none of them happen without liquid cooling. <laughs>